Okay, easy, medium, and then hard. The first one is the classic Daniel cell. They found a, a battery 6,000 years in Iraq based on this. So all you do is you split it up into two obvious halves, and then make sure that the charge is balanced on each side. So by adding two electrons to each side, everything on each side now is neutral. It's balanced. To balance an equation, it's not just the atoms, it's also the charges you have to balance. Okay, so let's split this into two half equations. Obviously the aluminium sticks with itself and the silver sticks with itself. Now you've got to add some electrons to balance the charge. Aluminium's neutral on the left and now it's neutral on the right. And the same with the silver. Now you can't recombine these because the electrons have to match. So I'm going to triple the, uh, the silver equation. And now the electrons match, now I can combine them. Aluminium gave away three electrons, so the silver must receive three electrons. And these are the hard ones in acid solution. The trick is, do the water first, then the acid, and then fix the electrons. So acid solution, water, acid, then electrons. So this is one I cheekily stole from the textbook. First split it into two obvious half equations. And first, uh, uh, if you want, uh, the, the copper one's easy to balance the electrons. I'll just pop that in. Now try with the water. So I'm going to put two waters there to balance the oxygen. And then I'm going to put four H pluses on the left. Not H, H pluses. Now looking at the charges, the right hand side of the top one's neutral. And by adding those two electrons, now the left hand side is neutral. The electrons have got to balance. So I'm going to double and triple those equations to get the electrons to balance. So let me just write out the whole thing now. Oh, just fix that. Now I've left the electrons in for clarity, but at the end, I'm going to cancel them out because they're on each side. Okay, that's the balanced equation in acidic solution. Okay, this one I got from the data booklet. I just looked at the list of electropotentials, flipped one of the higher ones, and added it to one at the bottom. This is also a classic one because there's a mistake that, uh, that everyone tends to make. So I'll point it out, you can avoid it. So first of all, split them into two kind of obvious half equations. The dichromate goes to the chromium 3 plus. And the iron goes to iron 2 plus. I'm going to balance the iron with two electrons. Uh, that's just trivial. Now for the top one, it's that two that everyone misses out. People are so busy balancing the water, seven waters, and the 14 H pluses, they forget to balance the chromium. Don't forget that. Charge on the left is 12 plus. Charge on the right is 6 plus for the top equation. So if I had six electrons, ah, now I've balanced the top equation in terms of the atoms and the charge. No, you don't times that one by three. That would be a mistake. I need the same electrons in both equations. So treble the bottom one, the electrons balance, and now just add the whole thing up. Keep all the reactants on one side, keep all the products on the other side. Okay, that was a bit quick, but I hope you got it. Thanks.